uh, Halley Avenue Ball started a while ago. We were actually about to head away on tour and Halley was going to come with us, but uh, unfortunately his passing came before it. So we decided to change the ball from being a fundraiser for the tour to a fundraiser for Halley and his family. And it kind of just kicked off from there, to be honest. It's six, seven years ago now, and it's just about everything good that rugby's all about. When Halley was at the club, he was trying to struggle his way through an apprenticeship. As everyone who's been through that knows, you know, money's pretty tough. When Halley passed away, you know, what, what, what kind of scholarship, what can we do for her? And we thought, you know, we try and help people alleviate those pressures, you know, just so they can concentrate on footy when that, that time of year comes around. You know, could not find a better recipient than Kalala Mini. Just a fantastic kid on and off the field. And so much of what makes him a great person is what made Halley a great person. And then watching Halley's parents present the trophy to us, and seeing his dad cry for the very first time. It was then I knew what kind of man I wanted to be and what qualities I wanted to portray on and off the field. As it goes on, you feel like maybe people start to lose connection with the actual point of the ball, the actual point of the scholarship, but then to have Kalala come in tonight and be so emotional and so um, genuine about the impact that he's made on his life despite having never met him is, is really like something that is humbling to, to me. He was a good guy and it's just great to see that keep going and people to feel his presence and benefit from such a great person.